Hey guys, welcome to the Adult Babies Game of Thrones recap. I am B. And I'm Chick. And what an episode we watched. Was it? <laughs> As usual, <laughs> B not that thrilled, and I am extremely thrilled. This one was called Episode 4. <laughs> what was it called? I think it was A so Night with the Starks or Last, last, last of, the of the Starks. Starks. Last of the Starks was the episode. Episode 4 of Season 8. And they are done with the White Walker battle, and they are ready to go. Well, they already are en route to King's Landing for that whole battle. Yes. And it started this this week, and I love this episode. All Longer right. than it needed to be. That's that's my only thing. My thing is I wish they would have done. I Now that I'm watching the series, and as much as you're pumped about these long episodes, I think they probably could have done more episodes, a little less long episodes. And I don't know. I feel like the most of the complaints I'm getting is they're long, and people feel like it's condensed and like rushed, almost like. It feels very much like like let's just let's get to the let's get to it. Let's just. End I, this. I, I I wish it was ten episodes. I think they. I think it is a little uh, pushed down into. Two. Like there's two episodes of Game of Thrones left. I know it's of crazy. all time. Like I that, know. It's, we're basically at the end here. I know, and I feel like. I'm just being. Uh, you feel you know you know when you like go on a ride. You're you're somewhere. You're at an amusement park and you go on your, a ride and it's great. And then you're like, we're it's done gone. already. Yeah, we're done already. I, that's how I feel. I feel like we're just zipping past. Yeah, it's it's moving a little quickly this season, and I do think they they could have easily done a ten episode or even you know eight or nine episodes. Um, and I and I think. I'm I'm still happy with it. I'm not complaining. I just I do agree that it has been condensed a little more than it, it needed to be. Yeah, that would be the way I would put it. But that being said, I still found this episode to be very entertaining. Okay, I love the party scene after, Me and too. you know we'll get into what happened. And I thought it ended with another big moment. All right, the, now let me just I just want to say. I did love the beginning and I love the end. You mean, it's, there's a lot, just a lot in the middle. There's that a lot you didn't in the middle love. where I'm just I'm fading, and that's also on my now, own. Yeah, and I, get I that. fade away like easily. <laughs> that's my own ADD, and I, I get it. But you know what? You're not the only person who's doing that. Yeah. Just from talking to a lot of my friends and stuff, and I think because I've watched the seasons so much and I've watched the show so much that maybe I'm appreciating some of those small moments a little more than somebody who just wants to see a little more action. Right. Um, I I think they're doing a great job of ending a lot of little storylines and having all these great encounters with with characters who ha- who haven't been together for most of the other episodes. Right now, I have, I just have a quick question before you get started. Sure. Do you think that this episode we saw a lot of people get together in the beginning? Do you think that that might be the last we see of a lot of people? Remember, uh, there's only two episodes left. Yes. This per- so I think people are gonna start. I I have a few. Maybe not even. I'm not even saying dying. I'm saying that's just. Oh the yeah, end you're of done. Yeah. Like like I think a couple that, people left, and I think they're you won't see and, them and again. you won't see them. Yeah, I, think I think this it was episode kind of their goodbye. There the, like that party in the beginning. I think yeah. a lot of people there. We will, we we won't see it. again. That and was and I agree. That, and it's I'm, a wrap on them. Yeah, <laughs> and one of them is Tormund, who I yeah. think, and I'm sad to see him go, but I think. They are done with his character. Yeah, probably. I don't think there was a reason to kill him. I think at this point he's not can care less about the actual Iron Throne. He was there to help him with the White Walkers. He did, and now he's taking Ghost, and he went back up north, which I liked. I'm pissed that Ghost isn't hanging out with Snow for the rest of the show, but I get why. Why? I think he doesn't want him to get hurt after that battle. He was all bruised. Yeah, up. he lost you an saw ear. Him, right? Yeah, he lost an ear. He was all fucked up. And I think he was just like, you know what? He'll be happier in the north, in the snow, and all that room. And he knows Tormund and those guys, and he trusts them. So I think it was kind of like, he doesn't even pet the dog That's goodbye. What, not even a, a pat on the head. I've seen a couple things. He just looks at the dire wolf and walks out. That's like, it? You don't give him a hug or a goodbye or You know what that thanks. means? Jon Snow's going to die. He let go of his wolf. No respect. Jon Snow's going to die. <laughs> That's my prediction. Maybe it was too hard for him to say goodbye, but I don't understand it's why he so just let him go. Hard <laughs> to say goodbye to the dire wolf. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't like that. I was like, come on, man. Give the guy a little fucking pet. 
I know. I couldn't uh, believe that he didn't pet him. But let's let's get a little quick little yeah, recap sorry, of sorry, what we, should, we what we saw before we go too far into the special moments there. Basically, they start off the show with they wanted to show you how many people died, and they just had those like masses of people that they burned, and it was just you know every character burned one of their people. Mm-hmm. And great beginning. Great beginning. Snow said some words. Beautiful um, words. He didn't say some words. And this you is gloss over. That man had an epic great, speech. He did have an epic speech. And, and I felt like they words. did that to show you how much of a leader Snow really is. Yeah. Like that he's the person who could get all these people together. Like mm-hmm. he's the one who bands them together. He knows what to say, when to say it, how to say it. And I also liked that Sansa, as much as Theon is a pussy... I like that Sansa gave him the uh, dire wolf, the Stark emblem, the Stark and, emblem, and buried yeah. him with that just to kind of, you know. I'm sorry. I know this is... No, go for who it. Who did he put it on? <laughs> who she it? put it on Theon Greyjoy. Theon Greyjoy. Okay. He's the one who helped her escape right. back in the day, and she's, yeah, yeah. she's got a special place for Theon in her yeah. heart, mm-hmm. despite everybody else hating him for the most yeah. part. But um, then after that scene, they went into the big party at Winterfell, where everybody was just drinking uh, it was a little somber at first, but then once uh, Daenerys called Gentry over and named him um, he, the... They, she basically d- did away with him being a bastard. She legally, now he's called Gentry Baratheon, the Lord of Storm's End. Storm's End. So he basically got blessed. What is Storm's End? Storm's End is Robert Baratheon's home. But there's Stannis was killed, Robert's killed, his other brother was killed. Okay. Um so there's nobody there to take over. So basically, okay. they gave Gendry Storm's Gen- End. And then Gendry goes and proposes to Arya later in the show. Or he tried. Or he tried. And Arya was like, listen, dude, I just wanted some D the <laughs> night before battle. <laughs> yeah. I am the hero now. I'm about to go do some more shit. Yeah, I still got a, a lot lady. of shit to do. I'm not a lady. Yeah, I'm not a lady. What did she say to him? That that's not me, what she always told her her father. When he would ask her to do things that are more ladylike, and she would always say, that's not she me. Said, I'm not a lady. She said, that's I'll not me. I'll never be a lady. She said, that's not me. That's not me. But that was another thing. These are the little lines that they were using from back in the beginning of the show and yeah. things like that that happened that I loved and appreciated. And that's why I, I, I really did like it. Um, Bran basically told Tyrion also in that thing that he's going to be the Lord of Winterfell and that he didn't want to be the Lord of Winterfell. And yeah. Tyrion's all dumbfounded with that, like, why don't you want it? But Bran is just a weirdo. Bran's like, I'd rather be, uh, I'd rather just play this role where I look like an escape mental. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather look like I'm dirty and just sit in this chair he all day long. He bothers me so much. He now in this old everybody. wheelchair, yeah, he's just a weirdo. And he just says weird things, then rolls away. <laughs> just go. What are we doing with this guy? I he's you know what and now oh. he's basically done. I think he's just gonna stay there and you're not gonna hear too much from Bran. The That'd rest be okay of the, with me. That would be okay with me. Lock though. him I'm, up I'm over with Bran too. Put Bran in a padded room <laughs> where he belongs. But I thought that was pretty cool because Tyrion's like, why don't you want to be Lord of Winterfell? And he's just like, eh, I'm maybe right. he knows something. Oh, he I get who knows. He knows everything, but I mean, I don't know if that's necessary. I did love how Arya got a ton of credit for being the yes. hero, and they, she got a big standing ovation. Khaleesi shouted her out. Everybody knows that Arya is the badass bitch that yes. she is. And I thought that was awesome. Um, I also loved this when Tormund was getting snow hammered. Yeah, they had like a drinking contest. They had It was almost like a drinking contest. He was trying to get him to down it, and Snow wasn't really doing it. But I just thought that whole little interaction was great. And then they're all calling Snow the king. You got on the dragon, even though Daenerys has been getting on dragons for seasons now, and no yeah. one gives her credit. And so, and then they shot to Daenerys. Then they show her she, look, and, and she's she not looked. feeling the vibe yeah. at all. Also, during that scene was the uh, fam- now famous Starbucks coffee cup. That oh was- yes, that was that <laughs> was the now famous Starbucks coffee cup. That was during that scene. Did you notice it when you watched it? No, and I, did I I watched it a second. I, I I watched it twice last night and didn't notice it. Yeah, I I tried to rewind where it was. Because I knew like the screenshot, and then I, I missed it. I was like, I'm not going to continue. I'm I, like, I don't care that much. I didn't care either. It's such a small there. It's there for a second. I did go back and look to see if it was actually there. Yeah. And it's it's a legit Starbucks coffee cup. Do you think they have to be better? I, what are they doing? Here's These guys, what, here's, what are they doing? Here's my reasoning behind why I think this shit happens in this season. is because they're doing so much. And no excuse. I want to preface it by there's no excuse that shouldn't be done, especially something that blatantly mm-hmm. obvious. But I think they're just there's so much going on in all the scenes with extras and characters 
that it's just it's it's happening. Things doesn't are, matter. It's the I, best show on television. Yeah, it's, it, that doesn't bother There's, me because it's a Starbucks coffee cup. Somebody and, uh, didn't do their job. Somebody was wearing Patagonia I in know, season I one. That. Like so, but that's season one, and it's but, like all right, but, but it's. There's been little things like that throughout the whole show. Okay. And they always notice it. I mean, if you Google um, whatever they call those things, mishaps. Yeah. They're, I know. they're all over the series. What about like the – what about uh, Daenerys Targaryen? What about the actors, the actresses? Well, that's right. what I was saying. Like, maybe they didn't even know. Maybe you're so involved in your scene and your lines that you're not even paying attention. But it was right in front of Khaleesi's face. Also, this is a thing that, that I've always thought about during when I watch shows – if they want to have coffee or whatever they're drinking, tea, whatever it Hold was, it. put it in the goblet. Can't they just? They could oh, just put it in the. They could just, just all drinking out of goblet. Yeah, you know it doesn't matter what's in there. Yeah. that's very true. So I, what do we do? I don't know. Listen, I they, that shouldn't have been there, and I do agree that that's a a blatant mishap that shouldn't even be there. But I still love that whole scene, and then the Khaleesi's look is just like. All these people hate me, and Snow gets mad respect. Yeah. And like they're all, she's looking around that whole place, and they're all like, I when I first saw it, like, yeah, you know, she's like, oh my god, they all love Snow, and what's mm. gonna happen to me? But like, she's an outsider. Yeah, she's not from there really. I mean, she is, but she isn't. She's never been there. All she knows of these people is her trying to flex her weight of being the best. But the only thing that buzz bothered me is nobody gives her credit. For bringing her whole army there, she just lost half her Dothraki right. army, half of the um, the the Sully. unsullied. Unsullied. She lost her basically her knight in shining armor, Jorah. Yeah. Her other man that she's in love with, technically should have the the, the crown now. So that's Which not that? John. She's oh like Snow. She's yeah. he's like yeah she loves him, but he's the real big issue right now. Yeah. yeah. And she's just not getting credit for all that she's done for all these people in no. the north. So I feel like she's kind of... Is, is that going to build up to something? Yes, I think it's going to build up to a huge thing. I have some predictions that I want to say at the end okay. of this of what I think is going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to see how it all plays out because I think she's right, Khaleesi. Yes. I think John would be a better leader, but she's getting the share from everybody. I mean... And I feel bad. Yeah, I mean... It, that was my girl. I agree, I agree, I agree. And now even fans are all like, oh, Khaleesi, everybody's turning on her. The yeah. writers are doing such a good job that they're getting everybody to turn on they're her. They're getting everybody to turn, yeah. Yep, and I have a feeling, you know, I think her end is coming soon. Yeah. But uh, you know what I also loved in that whole scene when they're all partying? I know what you're going to say. No, you don't. Say it then. When Brienne finally gets the D? Right before that, though. Oh. Leading up to that. Which What part? Another thing. They're playing the drinking game. Yeah. That the, uh, which, It's Brienne, uh, Jamie... Tyrion and Podrick are playing that drinking game uh -huh. where you got to guess something about somebody, okay, and if you're yeah. right, they drink, yeah, and yeah. if you're wrong, you drink. He played that with Bronn and that whore. Bronn. Bronn, the guy who went to go kill them, and they didn't, and he didn't. His right-hand man, the guy who fought for him and got him out of... Uh, his original <laughs> trial when he had a... Jesus the, the, Christ, the, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Most people listening will know who Bronn is. Bronn is, was Tyrion's right-hand man, then he helped Jamie learn how to fight, and now he was supposed okay, to kill them for right. Cersei. That guy, all that's right. Bronn. In the beginning of the series, he's playing that drinking look like? game. He's got long black hair. He's, he's always, dead? No, he's alive. He was in that episode. Oh, the funny guy. The funny guy yeah, who was about to guy. kill Jamie yeah, and yeah, who yeah. was... Supposed to kill gotcha. Jamie and Tyrion. All right, all right, I'm back on track. Yeah, him, the whore that he brought to King's Landing that he wound up killing. But yeah. him and her, they were all playing that drinking game yeah. in like season one or two together. Oh Jesus! See, that's insane. Though. And I they didn't love remember. that game. And I just thought it was great that they were getting and they were playing it and like really into it. Right. I, I just thought that was excellent. This is what I'm saying. It's the and little it led, things that I really loved. And that led to the moment that we've all been waiting. We've for. all been waiting for eight for. seasons. We wanted to see Brienne get that. D. And she did. But not with the guy. Well, not with the guy we all wanted. <laughs> Jamie Lannister swoops yeah. in. What does Tormund say? He comes up from <laughs> north north and takes her right from me. Yes. Oh, he had a great line too, and I forget it. I forget what the line was, but he and then he starts crying. Yeah, when he was crying and then he wound up banging then, some other girl, he just moved on and real then, quickly. And that might be the last we ever see of and him. And that might be the <laughs> And that's, that might be right there the greatest um 
walk off <laughs> in the whole show. I love how he walked off with two chicks <laughs> after he was all heartbroken. Got hammered. He's been for three fucking two seasons now. He's been wants he wants to bang Brienne and he's loving the big girl. Oh my god. And then God. Jamie swoops in, bangs his girl, and he's left with but you know what? He got the better end of that. Those two chicks that he was banging, those little filthy whore bags were probably good in bed. Probably, but he wanted Brienne. He wanted Brienne. He wanted we to all? have big baby. We all wanted that to happen. We wanted those mountains to clash. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Brienne, got your rocks off. Congratulations. Yeah, get it. I like how he went to go talk to the hound, and the hound is always just miserable. He didn't want to bang nobody. That girl was trying to bang a hound. Yeah, what a miserable man. He's just an angry... I think all he wants to do is kill the mountain. Yeah. Obviously, that's you know all he's got left to do. You're right. And he's just getting whacked until he can. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But that was cool, cause then, and that was another thing. And this is why I love all these conversations. So Sansa comes up to talk to the hound because she sees that he's miserable. And he calls her a little bird because he always yes. called her a little that bird. Great. That was great. But that whole exchange was excellent because he basically told Sansa that if you would have came with me and left King's Landing when I asked you to, when all that shit was going down, you would have never married Ramsay and you would have never been with Littlefinger and all this bullshit that's happened to her along mm. the way would have never happened. She agrees, but the response. But the response was excellent. She beautiful said, response. I, I don't even remember the. She ex- said, "If I had not gone all through that, I'd still be a little bird." Yes, I'd still be a little bird. Exactly. Something along those yeah. lines. and basically saying that I needed all this bullshit to happen to be as mentally strong as she is yes. now, and just she's she's. By the way, that's she's life. got to know about that's everything. That's everybody. That's all everybody. Yeah, it was a life lesson. It's a life lesson for everybody. Don't take the easy road, everybody. You have to go through uh, nonsense to get where you are today, right? Yeah. I mean, look 100%. at us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we're, we're trying to fill that out right yes. now. But I just thought it was excellent. And then, you know, that was another one where they get along now. They had, you know, there was a history there where, you know, I just loved it. Yeah. And he was basically like, I would have taken care of you. Everybody thought the Hound has been a bad guy, and he hasn't. He's not. No. He's done some fucked up things. But you know, but, you know, everybody has in this world. Yeah. So I, I thought that was another great scene. And then right after that is when they had the whole Arya thing where she turned down Gendry. And I feel yeah. bad for that guy. I feel bad for him. He just got promoted and was like, wow, I finally have a name and a promotion. It's yeah. like getting that big promotion yeah. from work. And then you're like, all right, now I'm going home and I'm going to seal I'm gonna the put deal. A ring I'm going to go it. put a ring on it. I love you. I, and and well, then she was basically like, fuck your face. Yeah. I am the baddest bitch around and I got more work to do. Probably the last time we see him too, right? Um, I'm you not sold on that yet. No? Okay. All right. I, I don't think it's the last we've seen of him, Um, but I'm curious to see what happens. Cause it, so if, if, uh, if, uh, what, Big Red, what's his name? Thor? Tormund? Tormund? I think he's gone. So if Tormund leaves, there couldn't be a, a worse, like, like a separate thing. Tormund leaves on such a, a beautiful way. If, uh, oh, and 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 Gendry's if, Gendry, living, if that's Gendry's last scene, it's like complete opposites. <laughs> yeah, he got denied by yeah, Arya, denied by Arya. You and, know what? But more power to him for trying, of course. You got to try. He didn't even want to bang her at first, it seemed like, and now he's all she knocked on boots. Yeah, and when you it's like, oh my god, she's the goat. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's just, she's she fantastic. just saved everybody, and he fucking leaves her. But then the big scene happens. What's what big scene? What do you mean what big scene? Oh, I okay. This is a big moment with Khaleesi and John. Yes. This yeah. is when Khaleesi now begging John because she loves him and he loves her and he wants to tell everybody, Mr. Righteous John Snow, mm-hmm. and she doesn't want to tell anybody because she doesn't want to have everybody pushing Snow because she knows once everybody knows, everybody's going to rather Snow. It's a game of telephone. It you is. Tell one person, everybody's going to know. That's why, oh my God. She tells him not to tell anybody. Next scene, he's telling his family. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then Sans is telling is tell- Tyrion. Tyrion's telling Varys. Yeah. Everybody knows Everybody already. knows. And that is just, but that was a, Big, big deal because Khaleesi's basically saying we could keep it how everything was. I'm the queen. You're my my guy. But we just can't tell anybody. Yeah. And he agrees to it. But he's... And I think you predicted that in a, a couple episodes ago that... It's very possible. That, uh, I'm pretty good with my... Okay. My All light right. prediction. Okay. Not big ones, but You know so what? Far. That's not the response I need from you. <laughs> it's, very, it's very possible I pred- <laughs> You said something along the lines, if I remember, uh, about... <clears throat> Jon Snow is righteous and he's gonna and he's gonna tell everybody and 
He has to. It's just what Daenerys is going to be. His whole about. thing is he's supposed to be just like Ned Stark in the sense where, like, that's like everybody views him as the guy who he yeah. looked up to his father. Well, not his father, his uncle, but his he uncle, looked up to him. He raised him. And he wants to do everything the way he would and what's right. And he tells people what's right. And he, you know, that whole shebang of being righteous. And he's like, listen, we got to tell everybody. But his problem is he trusts people too much. Right. He thinks Sansa and. Aria and everybody that he'll tell will be like, yeah, cause oh, you don't want it? Okay, that's fine. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll get on board with who you want to run the world. And they're not. They're, they're a little and they more sneaky right than away. him. They, he like, told Sans in them to not say anything. Literally two minutes later, she told Tyrion. She couldn't wait. She didn't even get pressured to tell him. No. She, she was just, like, I got, hold on, don't go. I'll tell you. Wait yeah. a second, Tyrion. I'll tell you. And I just thought that was crazy. Can <sighs> I, just, I say one thing before we move on from that party? Yeah. When I I looked at that party, do you think that they could ever do? You know how New Jersey has that that medieval times. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to see like a Game of Thrones restaurant? It'd probably be awful. It'd probably be awful. The food. But would be you awful. mean like an I mean, actual restaurant that is just like that? I, anytime I see that, like yeah, like 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 all candles, like yeah, like just, in a cat, yeah. like when they're celebrating. Do they have those? I don't know. We got to look for this. But it looked fun. It just, it looks, I don't know. They, it, it looks dark. The drinks don't even look appealing. No, I don't know what good. I and it's all yeah, like, nothing looks it's, good. It's like pigeon stew or something. Yeah. But I don't know. It, it, to me, it, would be, it just looked, it, it, I don't know. Maybe that's an idea. Maybe we could start a medieval <laughs> bar. Yeah. We're done with podcasting. We're going to start done a medieval We're done with podcasting. Bar. Our next thing is the adult babies are going to bring you a bar. <laughs> Yeah, a tavern. A tavern. <laughs> a tavern. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of candles and a lot in, of candles. In a month, it'll burn down. It's going to be cheap, <laughs> cheap <laughs> electricity bill. Yeah, heavy. Right. A lot of wax. A lot of wax. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> Dripping wax on the. Yeah, I like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See, that's where my mind goes. Like, I, I, I start floating around, and I'm like, man, this would be cool to like have like a dinner in this place. Yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying. And I, I kind of agree with you just because I think it'll be cool, but I feel like it'll run its course. You ever go into a restaurant and you're like, why is it so dark in here? Yes. Yeah. That's why we I don't know. do those things. I know, I know, I know. The closest thing they have to that now is what, McSorley's? McSorley's isn't dark. No, but I mean, it's like supposed to be old. It's school, old, yeah. It's and, dusty, it's old. Yeah, it's, I mean, uh, it's like the, the closest thing that they have to a bar like that. I guess. I other know. than medieval times. No, well, yeah. Have this, you ever been to medieval times? I've never been. Neither have I. I've always wanted to go. I never wanted to go. I, I, I in, <laughs> in theory, I want to go. Maybe that's what it is. And I'm like, I'm like, that'd be cool. But that'd be a place when I get there. I'm like, what the hell am yeah, I why doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I in New Jersey to watch these idiots? Fake joust. Fake joust. Yeah, no <laughs> fact. You know what? I think we talked ourselves out of opening up a Game of Thrones style restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hundred percent. But um, and then the other thing was when they had the battle plans before they went and they decided where to go and. You're looking confused again, B. <laughs> so after Tyrion, I mean, after Khaleesi and Snow have their little moment yeah. with the secret, yeah, and yeah. Uh, they wind up having like the battle, just not even really battle, but the strategy meeting okay. of what they're going to do going forward. Yeah. Now, everybody wants to wait, basically, for people. They almost want to starve them, King's Landing. Like they, they were basically saying, let's set up troops like around it and kind of just stop food and stuff from going in. Right. But they want to wait until their armies are back up to 100% as far as health. Okay, so they want to... And Khaleesi's like, listen... I just risked a ton and lost half my army to fight a war that I didn't even want to fight. Now that the time has come to reciprocate that, to me, you guys want to wait and postpone everything. They want to wait to fight because they want to... They want to get healthy. Right. But she doesn't trust that they're going to fight for her. By the way, this didn't work out so well for the Islanders. The Islanders... You don't want to wait. You don't want to wait. Ride it while it's hot. Do it. Yeah. Carolina, uh, the Carolina Hurricanes, yep. they went in hot, and, and they beat the Islanders. The Islanders. They swept the, Islanders. the hottest team in. The hockey. Islanders took some time. They recouped. Yeah. They got healthy. What does recouping do? It just makes you lazy. Makes you lazy. Yep. Get you happy. You're talking about nothing. two guys that have been recouping These for years. These guys just years. survived the battle of their lives, and if they go back home and sit down and relax, no. they're not getting back up. No. So I totally agree with Khaleesi that it needs to be now or never. 
I understand why they want to wait, but I don't blame her. I don't trust any of them. Right. And she could tell on all their faces, we got to go now. So they basically decide. Got to get it while it's hot. <laughs> let's get Khaleesi to take the fleet to Dragonstone. Okay, so I'm... Uh, uh, and this I'll, is what I'll, I'll explain. This, this is where I kind of blank. I, so they I take the lost. fleet to Dragonstone. They basically take the Unsullied, the dragons, all the them, unsullied. the dragons and all them. They go to Dragonstone. Yes. Snow and them, because they don't have the ships, are going to the same place, but they're taking the, the King's Road down to King's Landing. Okay. They're actually on horses so, and, and traveling down there. So Daenerys Targaryen gets there. And the Unsullied, they all get there first. Yes. Snow and them Snow haven't even no arrived idea what at King's Landing yet. No. Okay. They're on their way. But they had the dragons, the ships. They were able to cruise a lot quicker. Yeah. So now when they get to Dragonstone, boy, oh boy, mm. are they in for a surprise. Yeah. Because what happened? What happened is Rhaegal. How great is this? Rhaegal's a little injured. This is one of the dragons. That's why Snow didn't ride it. They're letting the dragon... Kind of, you know, get better on his own. Mm-hmm. He doesn't need anybody riding him, even though, like they said, he's weighs two pounds, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Rhaegal's flying. Everybody thinks it's good. They see Dragonstone. They're there. They- How do you know the d- the names of the dragons? It's Rhaegal, Drogon, and Viserion. Viserion was the one that got killed that was okay, the White Walker. Okay, but if Walker. you saw them flying, could you be like, that's Rhaegal? Well, Khaleesi always drives, uh, rides Drogon. Okay. That's the only reason why I knew that. Wow. You can't really tell them, but Khaleesi's always on Drogon. Right. And it was also because Rhaegar was Snow's father. They also, if you look at it, he's riding Ray- Rhaegar. Rhaegar. I got it. Okay. So now Rhaegar Jeez. is flying. And you could tell he's, you know, he's doing a good job. He's looking good. Khaleesi's got that nice little look on her face. Oh, mm-hmm. look at my dragon. He's healthy. He's yeah. getting better. Look at him go. Boom. Bing, bang, boom, baby. Fucking harpoon right in the stomach. Another one to the wing, right and then in the arteries, boom, right into the throat. The, the, yeah, right in the Down throat. Down goes fucking Rhaegar. Down goes Rhaegar. <laughs> and who's sitting there? You're on in his fleet. By the way, another, I want to interject again. That boat that they came out, that boat looked amazing. The, oh, like, Euron's boat? Euron's boat. They have all those harpoon fucking things for dragons on like the front of all those ships now. And they were just fireballs. What do you think if we out? opened up our own cruise line? <laughs> and they all look like those boats. I would and get it's on Game of Thrones second. style. That'd be cool. We got to start right? something Game of Thrones. That's <laughs> right. it. That's we got to make our money makers doing something. Yeah. But that was fucking awesome. And then they start firing these fucking arrows, arrows or harpoons, or whatever you want to call them, at the ships that are just fucking destroying these <laughs> wooden ships. Everybody's in, in trouble. They all make, well, not all of them. Most of them make it to the beach, and Missande is missing. Oh, Missande. I love Missande. Missande was a. Now that's Khaleesi's right hand yeah. chick. Yeah, I know Missande. And, and she was, she's she was, hot. She I was. love her. I've been saying she's one of my favorite characters just because she's beautiful. Yeah. And she got taken, and I was pissed. Yeah. I was not happy that she... I did not expect her to go. I thought she was going to be one of those like side characters who just kind of makes it to the end. Yeah, but no. But no. She went down she in went fucking down, flames. She went down twice. <laughs> she went down twice. One, she gets stolen. Her body and her head. <laughs> her body and her head. So then after that whole happens, they go back and Khaleesi's now pissed. Now, this was a good scene because Khaleesi's whole idea was, I want to go in there and just kill him, get Masande back, just fucking burn that whole village yeah. of course our advisors which he's always disagreeing with tell her let's kind of take it back offer her to see if she'll um, surrender if not then you do what you got to do and Khaleesi was actually like you know what that's a good idea so they can't say that I didn't give her every chance mm-hmm. to surrender before we went in there yeah so they go there now this is what I want to get into because this is something that I thought was kind of retarded why, when you go to get them to surrender, now you get it, you want to intimidate them with your dragons and stuff, but do you really want to bring your dragon in full view of Cersei and them when they could easily kill Khaleesi and the dragon? Like, they went there with a small group of people, a lot you of head honchos. Like Cersei's people could kill the dragon? Yeah, like, she, I, I, you took a big risk. Going there. And that's the only dragon you have left. At exactly. This yeah, why so even think. bring it? He's the other one's dead. I'm assuming, right? Well, we don't know. Well, yeah, Rhaegal's dead. That thing got an arrow through the throat of. Oh, wait, the can water I, hard. What about the fact that he gets hit, but then the other 
Uh, when he got hit that one time, I know it, was it wasn't as force power, and it was on his arm. Okay, no, no, no. I'm saying like the first dragon in in this this episode. What's his name? Ray Raygal and Drogon. So Rhaegon was the the one that got hit. Yes, Rhaegal died. Rhaegal. Uh, when Drogon and Khaleesi, they're like, they she if she stayed there to actually put fire on them, she would have got hit. She needed to retreat. That's why. They okay, just, but there was eighteen uh, arrows. It is what it is. It's got to be a little luck involved. She didn't get hit. A little she luck. She gets hit, and the dragon gets hit. You know, they want to push that on a little long. Maybe another. All episode. right. So I, it was just like, I get it. I agree with you. That it one was gets kind of ridiculous. She should have just turned and you know. Got out of there. But my th- whole thing is she goes there to get to the surrender, and she's got her dragon there easily to be sniped. Yeah. Just sitting in the back. Just sitting there. Just sitting there waiting to get sniped. Mm. And I thought it was stupid, but, you know, whatever. It's a little yeah. sloppy. I get why they're doing it. You want to show a little force, but she goes there, and Masande basically gets her head fucking chopped the fuck off and f- fell off the wall of the castle. Yeah. And that was brutal by the mountain. And Grey Worm is going to fuck shit up next week. Is Grey Worm? Grey I think he's going to fuck shit up. Grey Worm is pissed. He's definitely fixed. And but two things that we didn't go to that I just wanted to say real quick, because there were just small little tidbits from this episode yeah. that happened I thought were good. Bron is now going to get High Garden. So we we talked about it a right, little bit. Yes. So now Bron goes, Bron goes to kill Tyrion and Jaime Lannister. Um, Khaleesi, uh, not Khaleesi, Cersei was going to give him River Run to do it. Like, basically, here's your, I'll give you this castle and area as long as you kill them. Okay. He's boys with them. Plus, Tyrion told him, if you're ever going to kill me or everyone, anyone ever pays you to kill me, tell me first and I'll double it, you know, to not kill me. So he said, what's double River Run? And they gave him High Garden. What is High Garden? High Garden, if I remember correctly. Is you don't even know. It's, I'm 90% sure it's where the, the Tyrells are from. Wow, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's supposed to be a real nice place. So he's getting that. So he basically was so saying... the king of High Garden? Is that what not you're... really the king. He'll be a lord of High Garden or whatever you call it. He'll just yeah. have that area to just chill. It'll be his. Wow, that'd be nice. So things are looking good for Bronn. And uh, so he leaves and basically says, when the war's over, come see me because I'm not forgetting about this because I yeah. still might have to kill you if you don't give it to me. Samuel's having another baby. They tell Snow if they have the baby and it's a boy, they'll name him John. Nice moment. Samwell and his wife look like they're staying back in Winterfell. Who knows if you hear from them again. Right. Oh, so that could be the end of them, too. That could oh. be the end of them. I have a feeling a lot of the people at Winterfell, you, you'll hear back from them. Maybe yeah. it's just Sansa and Brienne, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Jamie now leaves King's Landing to go back for Cersei. That aggravated me because for seasons you've been thinking he's becoming a good guy. So, oh, so that's and what he happened. Basically he's is switching like, his allegiance again. I think again. he is realizes that, that Cersei's in a ton of trouble. He's already helped them fight the dead. Yeah. And now he's like, I would do anything for Cersei. He basically yeah. said it. I pushed a little boy out he's of like, a window. I'm over here him. sleeping with this monstrous, monstrous woman. woman. Yeah. I'm going to go back to my I'm sister. I'm going to go bang my sister now. <laughs> yeah. And he's, cool. on, he's on his way back to save Cersei or to, who knows what. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, there's a lot of things that went on that episode. That's why I did like it. There was a, a lot. lot of stuff right. happening. You know what I like about that we do this? We, we talked it out, and I now I enjoy it more because I hear your perspective. Yeah, and this is – I had a huge conversation with a bunch of my friends today who were saying that they think that the writing has gotten worse or they're dumbing it down and they're speeding through it. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I agree with is that they are speeding up some of the stuff in the episodes. But in defense – they're just wrapping up everything. They, they are. You know what I mean? They're wrapping up each character's stories. And yeah, they could have maybe spread it out and really made it long-winded and did and 10 then episodes. I, then we might have been Then like, you might be complaining yeah. that why is it going? Like, why do I have a whole episode of them riding to King's Landing? You know what I mean? That's what happens. When they condense everything, they end these stories. There's a lot of conversations in the middle. And then they have, you know, they have this big event at the end. Right. I thought it was a great episode, and I didn't expect it to be any big things happening. Oh, God, just I the thought it was going to be to get ready. Just like give still me got a Yara Greyjoy, who's there in that in the cut, oh, ready to guy. help. There's just a lot of things went on in conversations. I may have missed some stuff, but I mean, we pretty much got the bulk of what happened. This yeah, episode. yeah, I think so. And my what I think is going to happen now. Yeah, what's and your I'll prediction? I'll put my prediction. What's your chick's pick? So various, Ver- Lord Varys and Tyrion were having that conversation about. 
getting basically killing Khaleesi and getting Snow the, the crown. Yes. I think Tyrion still trusts her. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't want, he's not ready to give up on her yet. But I think he does think that Snow is a good guy. I think Varys. Varys is the bald guy. The bald guy, the eunuch who's got no balls and cock. Oh, he's a. He's a eunuch too. He got his, remember that guy that he has in that chest? That's that right. he keeps there, this yeah, yeah, his yeah, old yeah. master or That's whatever. Right. Yep. Um, so basically, I think Varys is going to set up an assassination on Khaleesi. I want to say that it's going to be Bronn who shoots her with one of those arrow things that yeah. he's got because he's now got that. So he could probably kill her from fairly decent range. I think Varys sets it up. So Bronn kills Khaleesi. Okay. He gets caught by Snow. In the, in the whole process, Brown, basically they know that Varys sets it up. I think Varys will get killed. I think Khaleesi is going to die. And I think Snow will end up on top. You think Snow ends up on top? And I think Arya... I think Snow dies. I think Arya I think it kills, all goes back to giving away that dog. I think Arya kills Cersei. Another friend of mine brought up a great way that he kills... She kills Jaime, uses Jaime's face to kill Snow, uh, to kill Cersei. Which is Ooh. a great idea. Which is something that's cool that could happen. I thought that could that could be a really good idea. That's a good um, one. But I do think Arya is going to kill Cersei. I think Varys is going to have Khaleesi killed, and I think Varys will wound up dead. I think there's going to be a lot of deaths in the next couple episodes. Wow. But this well, was another yeah, there way are because there are only two more episodes. Yeah, but just left. because that everyone just assumed that everybody's going to die, right? And I, I don't necessarily believe that everybody no, has to die. Right. They've killed off Masande, Jorah. I mean, they killed off a bunch of people, and more will die, and some of the bigger ones. That's, I don't think it's going to be the number. I think the, the remaining episodes are going to be who who goes. Yeah, and uh, that's you know that's my views on the, the you know we'll see what happens in the last two episodes. I've been very happy with the season. I know a lot of people don't necessarily feel the same way, but I I've loved it. Well, I you're really never have. gonna you're never gonna satisfy it, especially on such what a, a big show hype. like this. It was two year wait, a lot so, of hype. It's impossible to live up to. The hype was insane, and it's you're gonna people are gonna complain. Exactly. I'm, I'm one of them. Yeah, point, but it's I don't, there's no way. I'm around trying it. to not sweat the small things like the, the Starbucks coffee cup. I don't care. You know the episodes. It's yeah. shorter season. Whatever. Like. I thought that the writers and everybody, they've done a really good job. You love this show so much that you couldn't... It's hard for you to have a bad word about it, it seems. Yes, but I also appreciate all the small things you're doing because I know the storyline so well. Yeah. So, like, those conversations that are hap- they're happening... Perfect example, and I'll bring Avengers up. I didn't like the final Avengers. One of my buddies loved it, and he brought up to me why he liked it. Mm-hmm. And it made sense, and it's kind of how I feel about Game of Thrones where they're talking about things that I may not... And like the Avengers, I didn't remember the other apps, movies as well as I do the other seasons of Thrones. Right. So these small conversations when they're touching on things that have happened in previous episodes and seasons, and they're not stupid to me. They're not boring. They're interesting conversations, okay. and there's reasons why they're having them. All right. So that's why I, I think I tend to disagree with a lot of people who... Fair are, enough, fair enough. You know, that's, that's really what yep. comes down to it. What are you smiling at me for? Because it looks like you're over this already. I am. You, I then, you, you know, I'm starting to read you really you well. You can read me better than most people at this point because we spend a lot of time face-to-face. And we face. do. And I, we do a lot of time face-to-face just talking. And I know when I've reached the, uh, all right, his attention span yeah, is you done. Reach my, uh, you've tapped my intrigue. On this I'm, show. On so this show. Thank you, everybody, for good. listening. Yes, uh, thank you. If you've made it this far. If you've made it this far, this is our fourth recap of the fourth episode of Game of Thrones Season 8. Yeah, we only got what was the name of it again? Uh... Starks will die or something. We lost all the Starks. We lost all the Starks. Star- something with the Starks. John Starks missed another three pointer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something about the Starks. I think it was the last of the Starks. Yeah. Last with the st- last time with the. St- <laughs> yeah. We have no idea. We don't know. <laughs> so uh, everybody, thanks for listening. Stay tuned to our adult babies is coming out on Wednesday this week. Yeah, and we're sorry we're late. I had a, I had a uh, a show, a QED show last night that nobody was at because everybody was watching <laughs> yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> nobody showed up. Uh, there was seven people there, uh, so that's why it's a little late. And I apologize. You know, showbiz stuff. <laughs> showbiz <laughs> stuff. But yeah, so thanks. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks a lot. We appreciate you guys and. Uh, So long until next week. All right, guys. Bye. Peace.